caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I've become I've been running east Looking for something well welcome back to the channel it is uh january 6th our first load for 2022 <coughs> hope you guys had a uh <coughs> fantastic <coughs> <coughs> A fantastic Christmas and New Year's because Lita and I did so we ended up catching uh, <coughs> I'm pretty sure we had COVID and flu at the same time <coughs> and we're still trying to recover from it I've got a cough I cannot get rid of <coughs> I do not know what's going on boy let me tell you something though it was a real hit or miss there for a bit. I thought I was gonna become one of those uh, statistics. Be one of those people that talked all that crap about. <coughs> about COVID and then die from it. Um, yeah, so basically, um, end up feeling a little rough on the road. <coughs> Then I got to feeling better. Went home. Then you got to feeling bad. And then I got to feeling bad again. My brother and his wife came in for Christmas. They ended up catching it. Mason, my oldest, and his girl ended up catching it. Um, Nate never ended up getting anything. <clears throat> I think my uh, brother's son I think he said he had like a headache or something. So, man, it was it was rough. I'm not gonna lie, it was um, it was scary at times. So it starts out well, it started out for us at least with like that kind of like that itch in the back of your throat. So we started pounding emergencies like crazy, and I don't know if that really helped you. What are you doing over there? So we're sitting in Cordell, Georgia, right outside the, actually we're inside, we're inside the Big Tech's place. It's um, 6.12 in the morning. We ended up moving down here last night, that way we could start out with a nice fresh clock. And uh, this load's going to somewhere in Indiana. Mitchell, Indiana. It's supposed to be 625 miles. And this place is about 90 miles from the house. So we figured we'd go ahead and knock those 90 miles out. That way it put us a little closer. Um, that way we could go ahead and definitely have this thing drop in the morning. Uh, like I said, today's Thursday. Just was not feeling it. My brother ended up leaving out Monday. Man, he's had a heck of a time with loads canceling so he's probably had eight loads cancel on him this just this week um, somehow he rallied it together and uh, got out before us I figured since we were the first ones sick we would be the first ones better and that definitely wasn't the case I mean, I, was, I, I definitely had it worse than anybody else in the house, I think. I mean, fevers, um, aches and pains. Um, never got to the point of not being able to not smell or taste something. But for the past week, everything's tasted like it had chem has chemicals in it. So, I have absolutely no appetite. Like, I can't eat or drink anything without it tasting like... I can't brush my teeth without it tasting real chemically. And almost like I need to throw up. Which, I ended up throwing up once or twice on this. 
Thank goodness that was it. But running about a 102 uh, fever. Um, I, I think I ran a fever for so long. I started getting like blisters all over my body. Um, couldn't break my fever. <clears throat> Tried everything. Couldn't break it. Um, it got to a point where my brother got so bad that he was going to go to the hospital. I was I was refusing to go to the hospital. So my brother tried to go to uh, urgent care, and everybody was sick. They said they were backed up for weeks. So we're we're pounding Tylenol, we're pounding Dayquil, we're pounding Nyquil. What else were we taking? Ibuprofen, acetaminophen. Is that how you say it? And just like it was almost like a roller coaster it's like you know especially like throughout the day it wasn't so bad but at nighttime and in the mornings is when it was the worst um, at, the, at nighttime it was definitely a big fever deal um, in the mornings you just I guess because you let the medicine wear off overnight you would just uh, You would wake up feeling really bad. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we're pretty much kicked it. Um, good to see you guys. Happy to be back in the truck. Um, let's see, last time we talked to you, we uh, ended up deadheading home. Um, I ended up stopping at a uh, truck stop that night and we slept. And um, I did the sleeper birth thing so I could split my clock. And then uh, we drove home. I think we ended up getting home at like lunchtime. And um, let's see, we got the we got new boards put on the trailer, um, and we got our wooden toolbox replaced. So right now it's uh, pitch black outside. But uh, when we get everything loaded up, I'll have to uh, show you guys what's up. Maybe I should walk up there to the office. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, they're gonna have to move that trailer. There's a trailer in the bay. Yeah, I mean, they've got more than one bay. I don't know. Let me uh, let me walk up here. We were supposed to get loaded at 6 o'clock. It's 6.17, and it doesn't even look like this place is going. So we'll see you guys in a bit. It's 99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. It's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the foam Pulling stitches Time to let go So come what may
hey there, Mackies. Hey. Let me guess, it's not ready. We're still working on it. Oh my gosh. So, <clears throat> we just got loaded up. It's now 9.30. Man, something got stuck there. Look at that. Uh, it's 9.30, so we've been here for three and a half hours. Finally got us loaded up. You can't be in a big hurry if you're uh, loading at a Big Tex. Um, the nice thing about this place is they do all the strapping for you, which is uh, a plus when you don't feel 100%. <clears throat> So, see what we got going on here. I guess they couldn't fit one of my corners up there, so they used some foam. Um, let's see, I can show you guys that new toolbox. Also, I noticed when I put on my turn signal to let people know that I'm turning, I don't know if these just don't flash bright enough. <clears throat> so I installed these. Let me show you guys what those look like. Maybe they'll show up. Maybe they'll show up on the camera. Uh, uh, hi. Hi. Watch out. Let me close the door. So, while sitting here waiting for this to load... We had a uh, subscriber named Steve hit us up. He's uh, bought two semi trucks up in Indiana. About four, I think we're going to be four hours from from dropping these to his semi trucks. He thought he was going to buy three, ended up only buying two. Um, there's the lights. Maybe that shows up, huh? Just so people know, hey, I'm, I'm turning. I don't know what it is. But as soon as I put on my turn signal, man, people shoot up right next to me or they don't let me over. So I threw those on there. Figured, uh, let's give that a shot. Here's our new toolbox. It's, uh, it's a little smaller than our wood one was. So it's definitely more full than the wood one. But, uh, you know, I started looking at the wood one. And I'm like, man, that's that's a little sketchy. <clears throat> but when me and Mason went to take it off, it took it took some uh, it took some work to get it off. Uh, these brackets are bent. Um, I didn't have time to straighten them, so the toolbox sits kind of funny right now. When I get a little bit more time. Maybe we'll fix it. Maybe we will, won't. I mean, the toolbox is on there. It shouldn't go anywhere. Nice and shiny. You guys can't give me hell for not having a wooden toolbox anymore. So I don't want to hear it, right? Anyways. Woo, what a beautiful day outside, huh? I am so happy to not be in my house and be feeling sick and miserable anymore. I have no idea what that goes to. But it's cut off and hanging here. Who knows? Alright, so we're waiting on our paperwork. And then we'll be good to go to Indiana. We should be able to drop these uh, first thing tomorrow morning. And then we're going to shoot up to uh, northern Indiana. Gary, G Gary, Indiana? For the semi-trucks? And those will go to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So, we just got to wait on some more paperwork. And we'll be good to go. I'm, uh, I am super excited to be on the road again and not be disgustingly sick. Ain't that right, girls? Hey, back it up. Go on, Pat, let's go. What'd they say about the paperwork? <coughs> Are they gonna come out and let us know? They're processing it, yeah. Processing it? Ridiculous. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Tell him bye.
Well, it took uh, five hours to get loaded and get our paperwork from uh, Core Deal, Big Tex. So uh, I will never be going back there again. And of course, the broker isn't working today. So we're done with that place. Anyways, we uh, just came into Kentucky. Uh, we're at a, at a <coughs> Keystone. <coughs> Sorry, I can't stop coughing. We're at a uh, Keystone truck stop, and it's a shit show. As you can see, uh, it is. Uh, we've drove through some shit, so it's uh, it's no fun. I think what we're gonna do is shut it down for the night and start at four o'clock in the morning because the roads are terrible. So uh, I was hoping we could find some parking here. Doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe go park on an off ramp or something. I'm not sure. So we're just gonna shoot some fuel in this thing though. And <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm dying. And uh, we'll... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> Holy smokes. All right, let me get some fuel in this truck. On exit 20 to put it back on. See what, I, see what I'm saying, right? See what I mean? Like exit 20 B plus is that way. Do we have to get off exit 20 to get back on? Is that why everybody's sitting in this lane? Yeah, see, exit 20 takes us to this 165. Yeah. I mean, that's what the sign says. <clears throat> I just don't understand why nobody is going that way. I, I don't know. I think there's an accident. None of the lanes are moving now. <coughs> well, this is where we ended up last night. Um, not exactly sure where we're at, but as you can see, we, we all kind of had to park like a bunch of idiots. I'm pretty sure somebody beat on our door last night and told us to fuck off. <coughs> Not really sure why. Did they beat on all of these doors? Because we're not the only ones parked like this. Oh, I think it got to be like five degrees last night. We let the truck idle all night long so we wouldn't have any trouble with the uh, everything freezing up. <coughs> Did I mention I figured out how to high idle that thing? It's kind of a pain in the butt to do. Look at all this ice, babies. Be careful. Uh, so this is a Pilot Express. Do you know where we're at, Babs? Someone probably does. It's called Hux. This is one of those... <coughs> I know we're in Kentucky. This is one of those things that are like in the middle of the interstate. Where, you know, people going this way get to come in on the left and people come in this way. I guess they come in on the left too, huh? Oh, I'm exhausted though, are you? Yeah. Oh, uh, this is this is what I didn't this is what I didn't want to have it. Our first trip back out is having to push as hard as we're having to push on these loads now. Just wanted to kind of take it easy. Be in no big rush. Maybe sleep in if we wanted to sleep in. Uh, all right, well we're going to run up here take a leak. Maybe get some coffee and uh, hit the road. We'll see you guys in a bit. What's up? What? Nothing? Getting a sandwich? Yeah. A $5 sandwich. 
monster bacon milk. 